Okay, it's working. Yay. So, where did we leave off? Miles. All right. Um, I don't remember what we were doing. Anyway, as I was saying, um... Oh yeah, we got the blank piece of paper and we read about how lemon juice could be used as like an invisible ink and activated with heat. Let's check our to-do list. Um, figure out what the blank piece of paper from Miles is. Can you guys hear it okay? Because I feel like I was listening back on the game and I feel like I need to turn up the volume on the game's end. Okay. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird- right. Um, okay, figure out what the blank piece of paper is from Miles. Tell Joy to call Elliot, take a look around. I have an extension of- yeah, that's nice. Um... Yeah, no, school's kicking my ass right now. I already have midterms because I'm taking a condensed course, so I'm doing basically 13 weeks worth of work in six. And, you know, with an... I guess I can't say autoimmune issues because supposedly my blood work looks fine. That's a funny thing. He's like, your blood work looks fine. I'm like, dude, my fucking hair is falling out and my fingernails are literally ripping off of the bed. What do you mean? I literally can't walk. <laughs> I can't function. I can't get out of bed most days now. And ugh, I'm literally cold all the time. I was in like 30 degree weather in Hawaii and I'm wearing like a hoodie because I'm literally like blue in the face because I'm so cold. Um, translate the note I found in Joy's office. Figure out the combination of Harlan's locker. Keep checking emails. Oh yeah, Bess and George. Anyway, I... I'm really upset about that, so... But that's the last I'm gonna say. We're just here to enjoy the game. No outgoing mail. News from home. Oh, is there more news from Hannah? Oh, no. Poor Togo. Oh, right. It's a whole course about learning shorthand. Oh, God. Okay. Shorthand is the system of writing words quickly using the sound of the words. For example, the word I is written O, which represents the sound. Oh my god. The method is sometimes called phonetic writing. Oh. In the following lessons, you will learn some basic uh, shorthand strokes based on the Gregg method that was developed in 1888. A short quiz ends each lesson where you can practice real shorthand. This is basically how um, online classes work. The stenograph or stroke for S is a small comma. The stroke is also used for the sound of a Z. The sound for A as in May or Day is represented as a small circle. What? Below is shorthand for the word say. You'll notice that the stroke for S, comma. Hmm. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I remember the name of um, the horse. We're supposed to find. I think I actually remember the name of it from the first time I played this. So do you guys actually want to do this or we can probably skip it? Let's see. On a hunch. Yeah. So I think. <laughs> if my memory from when I was like eight years old serves me right. The name of the carousel horse is Glory. <laughs> It is impossible for me to forget, like, narrative things, and that is so frustrating. 
rewatching stuff, it makes things like rewatching movies and stuff really convenient. But like, um, I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to relive the joy of watching something again for the first time. All right. So someone bought a carousel horse named Glory. The horse will be removed from the ride on August 3rd. Therefore, it must be replaced immediately. Please find out how much this will cost when you can deliver it. I need this information by the end of the day Thursday. Alright, well, thanks, Bess and George. <laughs> and what were we gonna do? Mmm. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Hmm. Alright, we gotta remember to turn that off. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Jesus. Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? Not mouth organ. I don't even know what a band organ is. Oh. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. You weren't here, Mochi. Miles. So this machine that's behind her is a machine that her dad created out of spare parts to help her like remember things from her childhood because she was so upset over her mother passing away that she like forgot everything. She like buried all the memories. Don't even know what a mouth organ is. I would uh... <laughs> Anyway. Oh my god, my alarm just I forgot to turn off my alarm cuz you know, I mentioned I have troubles with sleep. So I have like alarms going all the way to 5 p.m. Cause it will literally happen. Like the, the the rheumatologist and my blood work look fucking fine. It's like, dude, I will literally sleep for like 20 hours. A harmonica, yeah. But I'm American. Yeah, I know what a mouth organ is. I also remember kind of from the first time I played this. <laughs> it's so much fun. I know. I'm sure it's more entertaining to watch someone who's never played it before try to figure it out, but like, this is fun for me, okay? And I like talking to you guys. I think a mouth organ is a harmonica. Correct. The music you hear when you ride the Captain's Cove carousel comes from the band organ. That's its inside the rider platform. Miles, you the used to play the, the harmonica singing. for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. Tink. End of hint. <sighs> it's all yours, Detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I've heard a Toronto accent recently and it doesn't sound real. <laughs> I... Is there a Toronto accent? I don't know why you said Toronto accent and I immediately thought of like my cousins, but they all have like the Yugo accent. So that's like <laughs> the first connection in my brain. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. Actually, you know, that kind of pissed. I feel like I feel kind of bad. I'm worried that pissed off my cousin because um, she tried speaking to me in like, you know, the mother tongue or whatever. And um, I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know any of it. I know, like, um, what was it? Kakose, which means how are you, I think. It's, even then, the pronunciation's wrong. Dobro, which means good in response. Um, I know, I think Lakonoch was good night. Uh, Lakoslov means happy Sabbath, which, you know, Adventist family. Um,.
This dude. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. According to TikTok, it's an accent, huh? I didn't know that. But anyway, I felt kind of bad. Because, like, she's like, aren't you interested in, like, learning the language of your ancestors? And I'm like, if I learned the language of my ancestors, I would have to learn, like, 20 languages. Like... <laughs> Um, like, you really want me to learn, like, Italian and <laughs> Norwegian and Swedish and... Or was it Dutch? I don't even know. Oh, this finally works. We never Guess I'm gonna out. have to call Tink. Whoever he is. Oh, you have to tink about it. It's like, I know, like, uh, I come from a family that's kind of funny. How dare you not know your mother tongue? I don't speak Irish, so it's all- Yeah, no, I would have to learn I If I had to learn my mother tongue, like, the language of, like, my ancestors, I would have to learn Irish, French, Dutch, Swedish, Norwegian, um, even- I don't know if those are different languages, um... I think some Turkish, we're not sure. We're still doing the ancestry tests, like... There's, uh, yeah. I'd have to learn Serbian, Croatian, Romanian, um, Italian, French, uh, Spanish, uh, maybe Spanish, we're not sure. That's just it. My grandma did the DNA testing thing on her own, and she was the one who interpreted it, and I love my grandma. Love her to death, but, like, she kind of liked to exaggerate things, which is why we never actually thought that we were Mayflower descendants, my dad's side of the family. Cause she was the one who told us. I feel kind of bad about that. She kept going on and on about it. She's like, my ancestry DNA test says that we're descendants of uh, John Hopkins of the Mayflower. And we're all kind of like, okay, yeah, sure. And she's like, we're descendants of the man who inspired the Tempest, uh, William Shakespeare's The Tempest, when he was stranded on an island. We're like, yeah, okay, sure. And then we actually do the DNA testing. And it turns out we are descendants of John, uh, was it? Yeah, John Hopkins, I think. Before this looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. I wonder what goes on this spool. Okay, let's call Tink before we touch anything. Um, yeah, it turns out we're a descendant of a Mayflower passenger, so my dad's looking to get an application into the Mayflower Society. Which, you know, elitist bullshit, but we get discounts at museums whenever we travel to places related to it, so... There's worse things. Apparently I'm, uh, distantly related to Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah, this is Tank. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. We both kind of never heard ancestors. Of yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? Much well, it means there's some British blood in me. I hate it. That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? <laughs> We're gonna fax and logic this bitch. Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Mm. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need oh. roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. There's a cabinet in there? That's right. 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh! And one more thing, you're gonna have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here at the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, and I gotta go! Okay, dude. God, I love these games, they're so campy. You act like you don't, I know. But yeah, my, um... Oh! We have drama! I have tea! I have tea! So we think we found out what the family secret is. For those of you who are new here, um, back when my grandmother was alive, to say the least, I have family members who are um, 
kind of fucking assholes. Um, <laughs> like, really, really mean-spirited. Saying the nastiest things possible. And back when my grandma was alive, and mind you, ooh, creepy. Mind you, they knew that my grandmother had really, really severe anxiety. Like, there were a couple times where, like, we were worried we'd have to, you know, call services or something. Like, it, it was bad. So he knew, my, this relative knew that my grandmother was severely anxious. So he went up to her one day and he said, there is a massive family secret that will forever change how you view this person, but I've been sworn to secrecy, so I'm not allowed to tell you, tee hee, and then walked off. And for the rest of her life, she was like digging through archives. That's how she found out about the Mayflower thing. Like she was so stressed out about it. Just so fucked. I'm sorry, that is so mean. Okay, that's reset. Okay. Um. So, we have been digging around now. Because after she passed away, we were kind of like, well, she never found out what it was. I feel like, you know, a good way to honor her memory would be to at least figure out what the hell's going on. Let's see. Miles said the song is on the third roll. And we found, I think we found out what it is. So my great-grandfather, um, I can't remember his name at the moment. I'm, and if I try to say it, my dad's going to be like, oh, this is the name. Um, anyway. <laughs> we this must be it. think, we think, that one of my ancestors was not actually a part of the family of the Strauss family. So there was my grandmother's side. Her maiden name was Strauss. And we think that, um, I think it was her grandfather is not actually a Strauss. Like he was either adopted or like my dad even said, like his, um, my great, great grandfather, he was crazy enough that he would have just, you know, taken some random kid off the street. <laughs> like he's like, I would not be shocked if it, our great grand or your great grandfather was just some like random kid that he picked up from somewhere. Do you want to know what part of England your family are from? Uh, either way, it's bad, so I don't know. Anyway. Ooh. Secret tunnel. I don't think I spelled that right. That's okay. Um, yeah, so my parents did ancestry tests, which is... Um, <sighs> Time to start crawling. And the reason why we think this is because um we did an ancestry like my we didn't do an ancestry dna test my cousins did the descendants of the man who told my grandmother there's a massive family secret this and goes to the space underneath the carousel to tell you t he and um oh these are the horses caution beyond this point Oh. Wonder what that is. Can I not? Anyway. There's something up there. Looks like a letter. Yeah, so the reason that we think this is because we're looking at the ancestry like the family tree and stuff with my the great-grandfather Strauss who we think is not a Strauss there is zero DNA connection like zero between any of the other Strauss siblings which you know like there's something would show up if you were actually related like something would show up some connection some significant link there and Another damning point of evidence. I'm turning into Nancy Drew here. Nasty Drew with the family drama. Holy shit. And, um... <laughs> um... Another reason... Or another piece of evidence that's pretty damning is... My dad messaged the wife of the man. I think the wife or the daughter. I can't remember. My brain is so fucked right now. Um... So the small detail... Big details I remember. Small details not so much. Um... Anyway, he messaged her... 
And he's like, was my grandfather actually a member of the Strauss family? And instead of being like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know, because like if someone came to you with like a wild accusation, what do you think your first response would be? Would it be like, you know, cause I think personally for me, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Like, what do you mean? Instead of having any sort of confused reaction, she immediately got defensive and she's like, who told you that? Where did you hear that? So, and now she's like ghosting him. She's not responding to him. And I know it seems petty for me to be airing family drama on, on Twitch, but listen, you willingly told someone with severe anxiety that like there is a massive family secret you're not allowed to tell anyone about, which like sent them down so many spirals. I'm gonna bug you until you tell me and I'm gonna pressure you until you tell me. I don't care who knows. The ballroom, that's what was converted into the haunted house. If I have to air out family drama online, I will, cause I'm pissed. All right, and just the fact that, like, who cares, right? <laughs> Which, you know, is ironic coming from me, cause I'm like so dead. We're so desperately trying to figure it out, but it's like, okay, if we're not related, um, so what? You know, they all grew up together. They all still love each other. Like, nothing significantly would change. And the fact that they're still so determined to keep this secret. It's just making me think it's something worse, you know? Like, even my dad, like, toyed with the idea that possibly his dad had an affair or something, even. Like, where, like the, the longer they keep this a secret, the worse, ac or, you know, the secret is you have a trans family member. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. No. Yeah, no, no. Because, like, my mom's side of the family comes from, like, super, super conservative like, my grandfather, when he saw my brother, when my brother was little, he was playing with, like, a hat and a purse with, like, from my costume bin, and my grandfather literally started crying. Like, no, there's... <laughs> no. I don't know. Or maybe that might be the secret. Yeah. Nah. I don't know. We're gonna try the DNA route first. Anyway. August 2nd, 1913. My dearest Amelia, the work goes slowly, but it goes. I just completed my fifth horse, my favorite so far. I call him Foxfire, which is a phosphorescent fungus that grows on rotting wood. I've always thought fondly of that name. Every night, music plays in the ballroom above my workshop. Every night, a hundred feet scamper back and forth overhead. When I complained to Mr. Rousseau, he said that if I worked in the daytime like everyone else, there would be no music to bother me. He doesn't understand that I can only work when the world is as I feel dark, dangerous, unknowable. Um, but you understand, my darling wife, you're the only person on earth who has ever understood everything that can be understood about me, and I miss you terribly. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in what's now the haunted house. Oh. The radiator still stands guard outside the door to my workshop, as cold and heavy as my heart awaiting your return, you must come back to me, Amelia. Your father was loath to give me your address. I promised him things will be better, as I now promise you, if when you return. But what if you don't read this? What if it comes back unopened? Or worse, what if it never comes back and neither do you? Your rejection would be unbearable. Perhaps I shall mail this letter tomorrow, but I now know that I cannot mail it today, my beloved. I don't have the courage. I cannot take the risk. I love you too much. Yours alone forever, Rolf Kessler. Well, that's sad. So it looks like it wasn't opened. So what's this door we found? Can I use it? Can I not? Moon glow. Lancer. Starlight. Okay. Um. Let's go talk to Harlan. Ooh. I'm 
need a tape. Uh, a VHS tape. I see you surveil. I see you. Harlan Bishop requested code. Handy dandy notebook time. Yeah, no, I can see that mochi. Like, a lot of stuff gets internalized. Um, 101190. One, Is that the code for the... Yeah, it's six digits. Um, all right. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. So is that on our phone now? So I've been writing out all the phone numbers. Yep, Captain's Cove PD. Alright. I know when I come out it will cause issues. Same here. I get it. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Okay, Louis. I'm not gonna. A lot of these, when you're snooping through people's stuff, um, you actually have a time limit. So if you don't, you know, all right. If you don't go through it fast enough, then um, you actually get busted. Like they return. All right. Is there a? Wonder what's on here. Uh, I'll just play it and find out. <laughs> Nosy Nancy. The Clue Crew. I love that the Nancy Drew fandom is called the Clue Crew. I need a tape. I need a tape. It looks Zero, like Harlan's seven, been spying on two, Ingrid. Six. Zero, seven, two, I better six. put this back where I found it. Well, he's been spying on her, and now we can get into the workshop <laughs> without her knowing. See, I think I would like to be a detective solely for the fact that I can't keep my nose in my own business. Are you planning on visiting the UK again? I don't know. I don't know. My family's still trying to be careful with COVID and like the fact that there was no updated COVID vaccines. I know my mom's going to Scotland in later in the fall, which I think she's excited about. All right. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. Hi, Nancy. Nothing new at this end. What have you got? How much do you know about Daryl Trent? You know, the guy who used to be the co-owner of Captain's Cove, Paula's former business partner? I met him a couple of times. Real friendly guy. Young at heart. More of a kid than most kids. I kind of think that's what killed him, you know? His body just got too old for his soul. Hmm. Did you ever meet his daughter? I didn't even know she existed until Paula mentioned she'd hired her. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Just doing my job. Okay. Paula Santos, Bess Morvan. Okay, let's find out who this Louis G is. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Oh. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct. But he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Um...
Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Garris. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? Um... I didn't say that, but when was he paroled, do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? <laughs> Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my no cell good. phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Damn, Harlan. Got some skeletons in that closet. Alright, um, nope. Things to do, let Paula Santos know that Harlan did time. Look for the door to Rolf Kessler's- Wow, what a fucking snitch. Nancy. Oh, I never loaded the roll three onto the band organ. Find out what Joy's favorite band organ tune is. Get a harmonica, okay? So I think this remote is what, if I remember correctly, I think this is what uh, started the carousel. Like the haunting. Baby reindeer, is Paula that any Santos. good? Hi Paula. Nancy, what's going on? I just started watching Shogun. I'm about like halfway through, it's really good. I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. Oh. How long have you known? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. Oh, he that's said fair. being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by Rolf Kessler. Really? Don't lose it. I'd like to take a look at it. Kessler was quite a character. All right. Um... The letter said he had a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Mm -hmm. Do you know if it's still there? It was probably destroyed during the He's renovation. Gone straight, At so least I've never heard therapy. anyone say anything about it. <laughs> if it is still there, I'm sure there's nothing in it but cobwebs a mile thick. Hmm. Do you know who Tink is? Sure. Tink Obermeyer operates the carousel. That's Real an protective awesome last of it. name. When it was vandalized, it almost broke his heart. Loves the band organ too. Right now he's up in Canada fishing. Hey. I'll be in touch. Call me anytime. Okay. Uh, sorry. I just gotta do this before I... One thing before I forget. Alright. Um. Let's ask Joy about... I really do need to get this work done. Oh. R right. Sorry. Maybe... Harlan or Ingrid? It's locked. Is it now? Well, good thing I have, um, I respect people's privacy and I always respect their boundaries. I don't go snooping through people's things when they're not around. That would be, that would be horrible. Call LH about results. LH. Lance Huffington, maybe? Ooh. Oy. My eye has been twitching nonstop for the past three days. Wow, that's one expensive watch. Holy Moses, twenty thousand dollars. Total cash price sales tax of thousand. Twenty-one thousand. Jeez. You know what people would give for that kind of money? And it doesn't even look that good. See, this is why I hate rich people. 
This is why I fucking hate rich people. Like, you spend $20,000 on a watch and it just looks like this. This looks like a piece of Claire's costume jewelry. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate rich people. They spend all of this money that could literally pay for people's rent on, like, things they'll wear twice in their life. Anyway. Like the car, too. Like, I don't get it. Maybe it's because I'm a klutz and I, like, destroy everything I own. Is Fan Expo good? Yeah, except they keep inviting Gina Carano. I don't know why. I didn't go last uh, winter because they invited her and I don't stand with her at all. And I don't... And the fact that, like, Fan Expo's not even addressing it. Like, there was a lot of fans who canceled their tickets. Myself and my friends included. We didn't go. Because <clears throat> that pissed us off so much. Alrighty. Is that it? Let's try calling Lance Huffington. Um, Star Wars woman who said that conservative Talk people are like... Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance second. Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? She asked me to call you for a status report. Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Oh. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Damn. Um, anyway, she said, um... She was, like, super, like, I know she's saying, I wasn't anti-vax, I was just anti-COVID vaccine, which, you know, is the same thing. Don't even fucking kid yourself. She also said that conservative people in America are, like, Jews during the Holocaust, which, like, ma'am, you cannot say that. <laughs> she's like, it is just like, you know, we're being locked up for our opinions, and Disney fired her, and now she went on this, like, crazy right-wing grift with, like, Ben Shapiro and... She was in a couple of his, like, failed Daily Wire movies that made, like, $800 in the box office. I'm not even kidding. Fucking $800 in the box office. Do you know how shitty of a movie producer or, like, you know, media creator you have to be in order to only make $800 in the box office? Like. Ah, oh, God. Which I'm probably going to bite my word. But, like, see, I have that excuse with, like, don't turn back because we're an indie company. Right? Like, we have a team of, like, five people. We have one coder and one artist working on this. If we make $800 on Don't Turn Back, I will be happy. Hopefully we make more than that, because, like, my team worked really hard. My team, the team worked really hard on it. And I'm super proud of their accomplishments, and they deserve to be compensated for their accomplishments. Or for their hard work. But, like, Ben Shapiro is, like, you know, got this multi-million dollar, you know, enterprise. He's really got no excuse. He could have just paid for advertisements and he would have made. <laughs> He's gotta like, do what his sister did with like the, just pay for a bunch of ads so your video's being promoted everywhere. But then people still probably wouldn't go see it because it's Ben Shapiro. And conservative media is automatically just garbage. That symbol looks familiar. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We need a key. It's locked. Huh. I need a key. Hey, Nance. What's going on? Wait, why can we address him but no one else about the remote? I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. 
Problem is, it's hey. locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. Hmm. I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. You're getting a tattoo next week, Mochi? Hell yeah. Oh, didn't you just get the Lord of the Rings one? What you getting? I know my friend, um, is getting another one at the end of the month. She's getting, like, on her thigh, I think? That'd be cool. Um... Alright, let's ask Joy right about it then. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. Let's see if Harlan's back. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Oh. I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. Yes, and I'm getting a Mothman? That's cool. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Had you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. <laughs> I like Harlan. Okay, so the fact that he was like immediately right off the gate, he was, he's a, he's a bit suspicious. <clears throat> like, you know, spying on Ingrid, look at those dead soulless eyes staring into me. Um, he seems suspicious. Because he was, like, spying on Ingrid to get her passcode. But I feel like that could be, like, him just trying to do a good job but going too far. It seems, it seems like, you know, the fact that he told Paulo Santos, like, right out of the gate that, like, I'm an ex-con, you know, shows that he's at least trying to be honest. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. Hmm. I'll see you around. Sounds good. I'm getting more in a few months and maybe my first leg tat? Damn. I know one of my D&D &D party members, she has these like blackout tattoos that are actually really cool. They're like bands across her forearms and then they go up like to her shoulders and stuff. Um... Alright, let's... So we got another fun pass. We gotta get the mouth organ. So we have the mermaid and we have the clam. Um, we just need the anchor, which we can get from Hya. There's a white guy who got his whole face blacked out. Ugh, that seems so painful. The blackout tattoos seem so, so painful. Like, I know a tattoo would be Nothing painful. like a game of squid toss, is there? You have four fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. And race... Yeah. Oh, God. Um... Sorry, but Squid Toss sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, is the game over? The frick? This takes a fun pass. Okay, um... Okay, so 1L Shrimp. I'm gonna be eating through my fun pass. Here. Lucky you! You're about to play Squid Toss! By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Your Catapult card. the squid through the hoop. Okay, so one to the left, shrimp level. Yes. So then one to the right. Dolphin. Let me write this down. One R. 
dolphin. <clears throat> Please work. Yes. Oh my god. One R... Uh, whale? Yes! Alright. One R... Whale. Sweet. That was legitness. Hmm? Oh, we have to select the prize first. God, I missed... Apparently Chuck E. Cheese doesn't have the tokens anymore. games is actually pretty good. So apparently, the new Nancy Drew game, I've only seen bits and pieces of it. They don't have the classic Nancy Drew music anymore. You know, the do 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 My, oh, my eye! I very, very, very much like my eye to stop twitching. It's been three days now. I'm not even that stressed. I should have more coffee. That'll fix it. All right. Um. The take-up dowel is broken. Oh damn. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a lathe. I've always wanted to use a lathe. Like, um, my uncle does wood carving. He actually gave me a kit. I have it. I could pick it up anytime if I wanted to. Um, I might use it for, like, my miniatures and stuff. Um, I want to go. Let's go talk to Elliot. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Mm-hmm. All right. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Okay. Oops, I don't need another rod. I've already got one. Okay, can I... Can I look at this? To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. Okay, but I can't see what I need to carve, Nancy. Better leave these goggles here. Um, is there a workbench I can use? Yeah, there was a measuring tape here. Oh, I see. Okay. So, two and a half. That's 2.5 to Would that be 11.1? No, because it's in increments of 5, so that would be 11.25? Yeah. And then at the 12 inch mark, 
there's a medium size, sorry, 12 inch mark there's Well, let's hope that works. Maybe I didn't mean to close the notebook. Okay. So two point. Oh, I can't. Let's try that. Oh no, wait. I kind of wanted to make like magic like Harry Potter wands. <laughs> if I had a lathe, I would like make a whole business out of selling like... Not Harry Potter specifically. I, I like wood carving. I like... Oh damn. I like working with my hands, you know? I've always wanted... Like y you guys know I, I have a quite a massive collection of ukuleles. It's like a bucket list thing of mine to like build my own ukulele from scratch one day. It's like a bucket list thing. Okay, so 11.25, so we'd need to go one. That looks perfect. Yes, first try. Better leave these goggles here. Okay, Nancy, thank you. I know, I might use my uncle's, like, he has a really nice laser cutter. So I might, like, you know, select the materials and stuff, and he can use that, and then I'll assemble it. Oh my god. It's so annoying, it won't stop twitching. It actually, like, is starting to hurt. Like, my eyelid is actually sore from the amount of twitching that's been happening here. Um... I need like a muscle relaxer, I swear to god. Okay. I just realized I just did this on instinct. I remember this so vividly from the first game. Okay, let's switch to roll. I remember this song too. Like, see, my brain remembers so much of this game. Da, da, da. listen to that one more time so a e no wait a e d e f e once you know the first two notes of anything like you can kind of if you know what the first note is in the scale if you hear the rest of the song you know do re mi fa sol la te do okay um it's an octave CBA. So like for 
example, let's see if I can get this. I'm bringing out the handy dandy uke here. So A would be, actually what is A? G, C, E, that's A. Should we put it back where we found it? I just realized. Clean up after yourself, Nancy. Oh, we can't. All right. Let's go to Miles. Miles, the magnificent memory machine. Speaking Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. Big Brother's watching. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? I want to get Japanese food, but it's not vegan. Oh, no. I know. I want to go to Japan so bad. Like, it's like a bucket list thing of mine. And, um, I'm so scared because I have a sesame allergy. And, like, there's a lot of stuff with sesame oil. Sesame oil is okay. It's That's the thing. It's like a food sensitivity. I have a food sensitivities to a lot of things, some more than others. So I can eat, like, technically I'm allergic to chicken. I'm allergic to apples. I'm allergic to a bunch of different things. Um, I can still eat them, but, like, you know, in moderation. Anyway, you will die. I won't die. I get a really painful rash, though. I'm sorry, anyway. but I thought she had a right to know what I know. You don't know Zip. I had nothing to do with the theft of that carousel horse. Just because I did time doesn't mean I'm guilty of every crime that comes down the pike, you know? I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would mm. prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more yeah. than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry code should be off limits. Yeah. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to oh. screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous, too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. The characters have a rank and bass stop motion look to the. Yeah. Speaking about stop motion, I went to the Coraline exhibit um, in Seattle last weekend, and look what I got. It's a posable, like an actual little Coraline doll. You could actually. Like, it's articulated. And um, I posted this on my close friends on Instagram so you guys didn't see it. I pre-ordered um, the articulated figure of this character with the star sweater. And um, it comes with... I pre-ordered it. And it comes with a, um, a signed print from the artist who did the artwork for the cover art... Or for the book. And, like, the illustrations. It was such an impulse buy. I found it on accident. I'm so excited, though. Because it has, like... You've, you've activated my hyperfixation. You've mentioned stop motion, and now I'm going to go off on my... Which right now, Coraline's my favorite movie of all time. And I just saw the exhibit, so, like, my brain is all Coraline right now. But they have, like, interchangeable faces with each doll, so I'm not just buying the same doll over and over again. Why am I not added to your clothes? I will add you, Moshi. How about that? How about that? I'll add you right now, if you want. Yeah, no, this game came out in, um, Erratic Cookie... This game came out in like a. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? Motherfucker. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. Oh, that's sketchy as hell. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize that for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. Mm. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. You'll be on my close friends list on my main account, Mochi. How about that? My private account, I'm going to keep just for family members, which I'm sorry. 
and people I know in person. Mostly because, you know, my brother follows me there and he's a very private person. So I want to keep that that way. <coughs> and I promised him my private Instagram account is not at all connected to, like, you know, my main one. Anyway, let's finally talk to Joy. We're gonna go to the haunted house next, but... Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. Suck it to me. Okay. Ooh, that's a cool little illustration. that song. I did ride the carousel over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. Oh, you loved the carousel and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? <sighs> I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. Yeah. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name. Glory. Glory. That's right. Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. That's I hated so the park oh my after goodness. my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Oh. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, Miles the, the Magnificent, magnificent Memory, memory Machine! machine. <laughs> You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final oh, riddle. Final. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. Oh. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Girl, you could have killed someone. She literally stopped a roller coaster mid-ride like she pulled the emergency brake holy shit that is wild she literally could have killed someone damn all right i really have to use the washroom yeah let's save here just in case Joy, what the fuck? Alright, um, I'm gonna go use the washroom really quick. Apologize. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm just gonna have my Twitch app open just to make sure the, the hotkeys are actually working. Anyway, I will be right back.
Alrighty. Let's see if that worked. I'm gonna be checking my Twitch app whenever I'm doing that for a while. <laughs> Just because I'm so, like, self-conscious that I messed it up somehow. <sighs> Come on. Self-conscious that I messed ah, it up somehow. Ah, I hate the sound of my own voice. God damn it. Speaking about being self-conscious. Anyway. So can you guys actually... Okay, you guys can hear the sound. Pro streamer, by the way. Um, what were we gonna do? I'm kind of scared to go to the haunted house. That's so sketchy. Mm. Oh, it's called Tank for the book. This is Tank. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. Did that <laughs> answer your question? Oh, no. According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? Hmm. So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. What? You threw it out? You mean in the garbage? He said it was a book he and his kid used to read. But hey, Daryl Trent was dead. I never met the kid and the book was boring. So what was the point? I need to find out Amelia's nickname. Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Damn. I'm curious, who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids, staring at each other, doing stupid kid stuff, or... Maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name. Nightshade. Oh. Kessler gave all of his horses names. Painted them on their bridles. So it wasn't... Have fun fishing! I'm trying. <laughs> so Nightshade was the name of the horse that was stolen. Huh. I have, um, on the Her Interactive website, you can actually buy one of the shirts that Nancy wears in the games that you see in the suitcase. And of course I have it. Of course I have it. Of course I have it. Hello? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Ooh. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was oh, in? Damn. He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. Oh, he was damn. paroled five weeks ago. Five weeks ago? Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Mm. Did he ever have a cellmate named Chaz Dunning? No, ma'am. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. That's so creepy. I love it. Uh, here's the key. So, come on. This is a trap. This is totally a trap. Some random person. I've I've sent weird ominous typewritten messages before, as you guys know. This is a trap. Story time, I guess if anyone wants to know. You have to ask for it. We already did secret tunnel, damn it. Secret tunnel haunted. Secret tunnel. Secret Maybe tunnel. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. Did the sound just cut out for you guys? I might need headphones. Or new headphones. Oh. Oh damn. What was that? Oh, cutscene. Oh, damn. Oh! That literally could have killed you, Nancy. What the heck? So, wait, is there just this random room? 
Okay, Mochi, is the sound cutting out for you, or is that just my headphones? I recently updated my drivers. Well, I guess... Yeah, there's the odd sounds again. Yeah, Mochi, some random dude in my class was sending really disgusting messages to one, um, to some of the girls in our class. Um... So I used my grandfather's old typewriter and the red ink option, and I sent him really ominous messages, like anonymous messages, till he stopped doing. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. Why'd you want to keep it? Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate, considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They seem to be coming from below. That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately, and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine, or your imagination is. Oh, screw you. Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind a hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing. I do know that. Damn, okay. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. Okay, Moshe, you always say the sound is fine and then it's never fine, so I'm gonna... Okay, the sound is okay. Damn, it's just my headphones. I might need new ones. What did you talk to him about? Look, what are you getting at? You and he could be partners. Mm -hmm. He gets on the roller coaster, you shut off the power, the coaster is stopped suddenly, he cries whiplash and sues the park, you share the settlement. Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. Damn it. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. Oh. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. <sighs> Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Witch hazel and lavender? If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. I hate, hate people like this so bad. I hate people like this so bad because they're always the type of person when I mention I have, like, health issues. They're like, you're too young to have health issues. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Or just going vegan will cure your mom's rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, just, you know, eat more lentils. Except the lentils literally make inflammatory diseases worse. Um. Because you seem to have a lot of money. Far more than the park pays you. I can't help but wonder where it's coming from. All right. I have been making money on the side, oh. but it's not what you think. Oh. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. Oh. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. Well, this guy is. knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Oh, damn. Rub a crystal on your penis and it will cure it of herpes. <laughs> Mache! Um. Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. Damn it. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. See, I hate... Yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve. I'm sorry. I know people like that in real life, and they're like, they're really lovely, and they mean well. But I can't talk to them. I don't feel safe to them talking about anything personal. Because, like, whenever I talk about, like, you know, going to rheumatologists and getting blood work done, they're like, well, just eat healthy. It's like, my hair is falling out, and it can't stop. And it's like, I've had to cut my hair so many times now, and I'm thinking of just shaving it. They're like, just massage your scalp. It will grow back. Just, just massage your scalp every day here and it will stop falling out. Okay, thanks. Thanks. 
All right. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Sounds good. So what do we have to do? We need to find the name of... Oh? That's a Poppy Dada. <laughs> That's a reference to one of the old... Uh, the older games. Screws and bolts, adhesive, extras, hinges, string. Okay. Oh, what's this? Those look like horse tails. Why does he need so many horse tails? Huh? Huh? Um, maybe it's in this carousel book. A rough Kessler. Amelia's nickname. That's all we need to find out. And then what was it? Can we look at the note again? Here we go. Yeah, and then he mentioned something it's about locked. brass. Let's look at the haunted house again. The brass ring we found on the carousel. I kind of figured that out. Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm. Oh, and then the brass. The arm is missing. Okay, so I'm guessing... It's been red tagged. Better not take the tag until I fix this. Okay, we're gonna have to talk to Ingrid, but we don't have, um... The name. I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Joy has stepped out of the office. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. <laughs> oh, Miles. Can we snoop around? Nope. This is a stingy office. I would lose my mind. If I had to work in a windowless room every day, I would literally lose my mind. If even just in this closet, like, I'm okay with it because I know there's a window right there. I can just have the door open. Being in a windowless room is my actual living nightmare. Anyway, let's check our to-do list. God, my eyes are so itchy. Brass ring, um, consultant expert. We asked Tink about it. Consultant expert. Um, well, yeah, but Elliot seems to know a lot about the park's history. So I want to ask him, but... Hello, Nancy. How goes it? There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red-tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Okay. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. You bet. Here comes the drums? What do you mean? Oh, he's not back. Okay, that's a bit weird. Demons of the Deep. I kind of want to check out this theme park now. This, this looks like fun. I miss theme parks. I really want to go to, uh... I want to go to, like, Disney or something. Like, Playland or just something theme park related. Oh, we need pliers. I see this is closing. That looks tight enough. All right, and then I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Okay. 
Okay, just a lot of walking back and forth, I guess. But I think we're near the end of the game. Like hey, Nancy, what's up? Really close. Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. The stream is lagging? Yeah, I noticed my PC is giving me a little red... My PC has a little string of lights. And if it uses up too much energy, or whatever it's called, the CPU usage, or any of those technical terms. Ah, oh, God, I hate the sound of my own voice. I'll Street see you around. Go get him. Games is a pain in the ass. Is it better now, Mochi? Ask him about the nickname. I feel like he'd be the person you know. Hmm. Whoa, that's cool. Tink again. This is annoying. Who would an expert be? Let's call the Hardy Boys. Maybe they can help. Hello? Hey, Joe. It's Nancy. Frank! Phone! It's Nancy. How's it going? Well, I haven't solved the case yet. Great! Uh, I mean, oh, what a shame. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Someone made a very serious attempt to drop something very heavy on me while I was in the haunted house a little bit ago. What happened? An alleged friend left me a key that opened a door I'd found in there. Behind it were some stairs, and at the end of the stairs, there was nothing. Except a booby trap. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't know who gave you the key? Somebody left it for me in Harlan's office. He didn't see who it was. Or so he says. Somebody has obviously caught on to the fact that you know your stuff, Nancy. So be careful. Any suggestions as to my next move? Nothing here. Or here. Sorry, Nance. I better get going. Let us know what happens. That's annoying. Let's try calling Tink again. Tink here. Hi, Nancy Drew again. Now what? Have fun fishing! Oh, I will. Alright, thank you for joining, Mochi. Um, let's try calling Paula Santos. Maybe she can help. This is Paula Santos. I'm afraid I can't take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, Paula. It's Nancy. Listen, it turns out that Harlan was in a totally different prison than the jewel thief. I was wrong about him. I'm sorry if I upset you. I'll be in touch. Can Bess and George give us a hint? I'm so confused. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's only me. Oh. Hi, Nance. <laughs> Listen to you. You're probably making Nancy feel terrible. Uh, Maybe I should answer the phone from now on. You wouldn't dare. It's okay, guys. I understand. I'm sorry, Nancy. As you may have guessed, Matt hasn't called yet, and he is just so, so cute. cute. Anyway, what's up? It turns out Joy was responsible for causing that accident that shut down the park. 
How do you know? She confessed. Her father was right. Dredging up all those memories was good for her. She's apologizing to Paula even as we speak. What about the carousel? Was she responsible for all that haunting stuff, too? I don't think so. I think she sincerely believed that Ms. Santos was behind it, so she caused the roller coaster accident to teach her a lesson. That's crazy. At least you don't have to worry about the roller coaster I'm sorry, anymore. That is... Yeah, now you can really check out the rest of the park. I You're making progress, Nan. Just hang in there. That's like that's insane. Like that's that should literally, yeah, you literally could have killed someone. Like stopping a roller coaster mid ride, like that is insane. Got anything for me in the way of hints? I was afraid you were gonna ask that. We're temporarily out. Damn it. All right. Thanks to that info on stenography you guys sent me, I was able to figure out the name of the carousel horse that Joy's mother bought her. Joy's mother bought her a carousel horse? That's what was in the note I found. It was a memo about the sale. The horse had a name? Kessler liked to name the horses he carved. This one's name was Glory. What happened to it? I have the feeling I'll find out when I solve the final riddle Miles gave us. My mother never bought me a carousel horse. Catch you guys later. We'll be right here. Toodles. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Sounds good. Um, I don't know what to do. Is Ingrid back? Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. Maybe Miles? Joy has stepped out of the office. Yeah. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. That's awesome. Alrighty. Um, is there anything... Did I just miss something? I feel like I... Huh. I'm trying to remember, because I remember the name of the horse. I remember the nickname being something really, really weird. I think it started with... Oh god, wait, I can remember this. Uh, yes, I can remember this from when I was seven. Shut up. I feel like Jimmy Neutron right now. Brain blast! S. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it started with an S. And a P. Hotel operator, what do you want? Mm. That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure, whatever. I meant to look at the checklist.
Someone who knows a lot about Kessler would probably know. Yeah, so like, I'm trying. <laughs> Still more news. Dear Nancy, the good news is Togo got just got done eating and is off playing with his yellow squeaky toy. The bad news is the men dropped the TV while they were moving it and it couldn't be fixed. When you get home, do Togo and me a favor and tell your father how nice the new TV is and remind him that he was thinking about getting a new one anyway. Love, Hannah. Oh no. Dear Nancy, Togo tossed his squeaky toy while playing in the study and is somehow bounced behind your father's beautiful built-in cherry wood bookcase. Please come home soon. Love, Hannah. Oh, Togo. I love dogs. Consultant expert. So, but it's Elliot who knows a lot about Kessler, right? Maybe we just haven't, have we not snooped enough? Maybe we need to snoop some more. These might come in handy. Oh, we got more? Okay. snooped enough. Right. Carousel horses were often named inside of the bridles. wrote this guy's number down. There Maybe I should too. There we go. Zukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot there Sheet magazine. Jesus. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I was hoping you could answer a question for me. I'd be delighted. Amelia's nickname is... Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. Oh. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatzi. I was right. I spelt it wrong, but I was right. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior Ooh. to that asking me how much Ooh, I thought one of drama. those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. That is wow, crazy. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. <gasps> the place where you can sit instead of ride. 
It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. That's the one that was stolen. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole yeah. the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? Nancy. We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by be thieves real, and Nancy. bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. Hmm. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Glad to help. Wait. Wait. Wait a second. So... Amelia. Oh, she's pretty. So, wait a second. We found a receipt for a bunch of base wood, or basswood, which is what is used to carve the horses. We found a big box full of horse tails. Oh. I remember the ending now. Shit. Alright. Well, you guys will find out. Let's go. Yippee, that'll do. I'm so mystery. Spatsy. I can't believe I remembered that. I spelled it wrong, but I was close. See, this is where I mean, I would love to work in a museum. I'm good with, like, um, navigation and stuff like that. I know that. I don't know a lot about myself, but I know that. Um. I'm good with navigation and I'm good with remembering like the names of things so I feel like I would be really good working in like a big museum like that where you have to remember where every exhibit is um oh joy this is it oh god I feel like this is the end of the game oh joy That must be glory. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. That's glory. That's the... Oh, God. <gasps> Damn, Nancy. Oh, my gosh. These must be jewels from that jewel heist. I'm just I should probably take these with me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Joy's mom. She destroyed all the pictures of her mom. That's so sad. So much for the stairs. Jeez, Nancy. Okay, Kessler's symbol on the wall. So this was Kessler's workshop. Oh. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Nightshade. But isn't its name Glory? That's Glory, though, isn't it? Oh. And this looks brand new. He's recreating the horse. T 
two dark horse, um, three weeks unacceptable, three to five weeks is too long. This kind of buyer gets cold feet real fast. The longer you take the more suspicious they'll get work faster. Already have two potential buyers. They learned about the hauntings on TV and are champing at the bit, as it were. The sooner they can get the horse, the better. How soon can you get two done? Oh, damn. So I remember who the culprit is. I feel like, yeah, it's, you guys can figure it out. Based on everything we know. Oh, so we just walked in through that bookcase. That's cool. So the culprit is recreating the horse that was stolen to sell it. Somebody's been making reproductions, yeah. or should I say forgeries. And selling it on the black market as if it were the original. That's so sketchy though. Like I would not, that is like so risky. If you're selling to people on the black market, if you're selling something for hundreds of thousands of dollars that ends up being a forgery that they think is the original work, like bro, they would, there are people who could literally kill you. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch. Hey. I've got to get out of here. What? Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. I'm trapped. I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> ah! Soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. <laughs> Harlan, on the other hand, oh, adores Harlan. me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought awesome. him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. Aww. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> and Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has Aww. yet to stop. She's so Inventing pretty. Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. <laughs> Ever yours, Nancy. I love it so much. Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on solving the haunted carousel case. Based on your cool sleuthing style, you're presented with... Certificate of Award in Recognition of Every Nook and... Of Every Cranny in the Game. Oh, we explored everything. The M Magellan Award? Magellan? Oh. <laughs> You have reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. Oh. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. Oh. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale-watching on the tour of this the Shions. This is a good one. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Bye. Nancy Drew on a quiet vacation? As if. <laughs> <laughs> yep.
Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, her interactive is never going to be like this again, based on the way gaming has advanced. But there was a 20-year period for this company. It, mind you, this is an indie company, right? This is an independent company. There was a 20-year period from 1998 to around 2014 or 2015 where they were releasing a game, a new game every six months, which is insane. So there's, you know, 34 games in the series. It's insane. It's never going to be like that again, and I know fans are kind of upset about that. I'm upset about it too, because I love me some Nancy content. But the way gaming has advanced over the years, like, the, you know, they needed an engine upgrade. They needed a bunch of different upgrades and stuff to keep up with, like, the market and stuff. But, like, at the same time, like, I get where people are coming from and their criticisms. Like, the fact that they switched CEOs, and then they were completely radio silent for years. And then the game that they released, they basically handed off the development for Midnight in Salem, like, the second newest game in the series, to, like, a bunch of small independent game companies. So it's all these different people not working together. Also, the new Nancy actress, um, I can't remember her name, I think it was Brittany something, who was replacing Lonnie Manella. Like, Lonnie Manella needed to go. Like, she went on some crazy, like, anti-vax conspiracy theory rants and stuff like that. Like, you know. And she's also in her 70s. Like, they can't, you know, she's playing an 18-year-old. And she sounds like she's in her 30s. Like, I've seen people play this game. Or play these games, and they're like, wait, Nancy's 18? International Museum of Gear of so Art. What? That's a thing? Anyway, I, I feel like the new Nancy actress is good. The only problem is... Um... Museum of Carousel Art. The direction is really... Organ! Hey, No way! There's an International Museum of Carousel Art in my home state? Are you serious? Oh wait, is this at the Salem... I'm gonna have to check this out, because the Salem Carousel is pretty well known. Damn, I'm gonna have to go there next time I go. Um, yeah, I feel like the new Nancy actress is really good. She's actually, I think she was in Genshin Impact, but she's a really well-known uh, voice actress. Um, the direction, though, is really bad for her. Like, I, and I'm gonna blame the directors before I blame the actor, because, like, it is hard being an actor. And literally, as someone who's worked with voice actors now, and who's someone who's directed voice actors, it's all about direction, right? Like. You can have the most talented voice actor, but if you don't give them the right notes, or if you don't, you know, steer them in the right direction of what you want as a director, like, it's not gonna sound good, right? Like... Is this just repeating the credits again? Oh. Okay. It just repeated the credits. Um... Yeah switch to chatting. Yeah, like, if you, um, it's all about direction with voice actors and stuff. Anyway, that's kind of a weird tangent. Um, that was fun. More of a chill, laid-back stream. I might stream Hollow Knight. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming on Monday because I have um, a midterm for my condensed course next week that I might have to prepare for. Um, so that's, you know, school's top priority always. Um, yeah, I will let you guys know. Thank you for putting up with me replaying a game I've already played through <laughs> a couple times now. I love these games, though. It's so much fun. Um, did I say that I'm going to stream next? My brain's all over the place. I really